Hello folks, this is Aitra Acha from Spiderize.com and today we have the TCL Bright smartphone and we are going to test the iris scanner feature of this smartphone and we will see whether it is as accurate as is claimed or not. So guys, what we are going to do is we are going to test the ID feature, the iris scanner feature on the TCL Pride smartphone and we will test whether it's as accurate as is claimed or not. So let us just go to the settings and after we go to the settings, you have to go to the lock screen option and you have to set the screen lock to ID, the ID option over here. You have to set the screen lock to that. Now it will say that the ID is a secure biometric that uses the smartphone camera to image and pattern match the blood vessels in the whites of the eye. It's easy and simple as taking a selfie so we will just start it. After starting it you have to place your eyes in the window. So we will just do that for you guys right now. So once you position your eyes in the window, the circle over here would move here and there, here and there. So once you set the ID, you also have to select how do you want to unlock if the ID can't open your phone. So you can set a pattern in case we will use a default pattern, the I2R pattern that we use on our all review devices and simple. So it's all done to unlock your phone, capture your eyes. So once we set the phone to off, switch it on again. And now you have to put your eyes in that window. The best thing about that was that it works almost all of the time. And the worst thing is that you have to put your eyes as close as this to the camera of the smartphone in order for the eyes to be positioned just exactly here so that the smartphone can identify your eyes and the pattern. So it isn't as convenient as what you can say is the fingerprint back fingerprint scanner on the Coolpad Note 3 and it's a hassle every time you just have to take out your phone and place it in front of your eyes and it makes you look like a complete jackass but it's still a kick-ass feature and it's still a very nice feature to have in your smartphone for enhanced protection if you really want it but the truth is that this is one of those features which you aren't going to use because of the fact that you have to put your smartphone this close to your face in order to have the phone work. And apart from that fingerprint identification on for example home button or for example the back is a much more convenient way to access such a functionality. So guys this was all for our TCL Pride Iris ID Scanner demo review. If you like this video then don't forget to hit like on this video and do subscribe to our channel. This is Aritana Jha from InspireToRise.com. Signing off folks, stay inspired to rise.